Mr. Van Drunen here. Welcome to Hawk Talk this week. Uh, apparently it is the MVD show, as our staff apparently thinks the ACT is more important. Actually, it won't be the MVD show the whole time. We have a couple videos to share, but first I do have a couple of announcements. Looking ahead, Key Club is sponsoring a Pennies for Patients drive, April 25th through May 7th. This will be in fourth hour classes, and it will be for various organizations that fight childhood cancer. We will have some more information in the coming weeks. We also have a reminder next Wednesday, Jostens will be here during lunches, delivering caps, gowns, other graduation materials to seniors. So if you have not ordered yours, you are going to need to do that by this Friday. Uh, you need a cap and gown to walk at graduation. Other materials, that's up to you whether you want to order those from Jostens or do whatever. Uh, but you need to get that done if you want to be able to pick yours up next Wednesday, April 13th during lunches. Also, we've mentioned this before, I'll put the uh, flyer back up here, but coming up on the 16th is the Northern Minnesota Hackathon. It'd be fun to have a group representing Grand Rapids High School, so if you have any interest, talk to counseling or to one of the business teachers, Mr. Sherping, Ms. Bildu, uh, and then kind of get you hooked up to the uh, Northern Minnesota Hackathon. One more reminder for seniors about the Blandon Foundation Grant. The application is due May 1st, so that's coming up. This is an educational grant opportunity that is very easy to fill out as far as the application and is very broad as far as who could um, get a chance to get some of this money to help pay for college or trade school or some other after high school educational opportunity. So be sure to check that out and fill out the application for May 1st. Another reminder for all students, registering for classes is going on. Counselor is going to be talking to you about different opportunities in your core subjects as electives, talking about career pathways, IB, college in the schools. Uh, one thing that I kind of wanted to mention, just put in a little plug, media production is a class if you're interested in being part of Hawk Talk. Either your personality, you like to be in front of the camera, maybe behind the camera, or doing the editing. Um, the class is called media production. If you have any sort of interest in that, and that's open to 10th, next year's 10th through 12th graders. Uh, teachers, if you have a class you want me to shamelessly plug for you, an elective or something within your core, uh, let me know, or better yet, send a video along yourself and we can share those on Hawk Talk. And lastly, as I mentioned, I do have a couple videos to share with you. One from our prom committee with some information about prom upcoming. And then lastly, a video from Ojibwe education students sharing some things they learned about the Seven Grandfathers teachings. Please enjoy. Thank you very much. Sorry, one late breaking announcement, and then we'll get to the videos we're going to share today. Uh, this last announcement, there will be a ninth grade dance coming up Friday, April 22nd from 8 till 11 here at the high school. That's $5 to get in, and the dance is for freshmen from Grand Rapids High School only. So no guests from other schools or other grades. So freshmen, keep that in mind as we get closer to the 22nd. Hey guys, this is some information on prom. So prom will be held on May 7th um, at the Rice Center. Juniors and seniors can only attend prom. Sophomores can if they are asked by a junior or senior. Grand March will be held at 7 p.m. at the Rice Center with prom, the actual dance, from 8 to 11.30 at the arena, and then post-prom from 11 to 3 at the arena as well. Okay. All Grand Rapids High School students and ALC students 9th through 12th are allowed to attend post-prom. It is $5 per person. If you plan on bringing someone who does not go to the high school or the ALC, you must get a guest pass from the office. We will start selling tickets the week of April 25th at all lunches for 15 bucks a person. If you have any questions, you can ask Mrs. Zenzen or Mrs. Velasi. Bonjour, hello, this is Ojibwe Ed, and we are here to teach you about the seven grandfathers. The seven gifts include humility, wisdom, bravery, truth, honesty, love, and respect. Seven values every day as best as we can. These are seven values that help us live life in a good way. Respect is Menaja Italian. Buffalo means Mushkede Bijiki and represents respect. 
An example of respect is accepting cultural, religious, and gender differences. Woo! This is our poster about truth, and truth is pronounced de Boylan in Ojibwe. Truth is represented by the turtle. The turtle is pronounced Nicanor. Some examples of truth are speaking as honestly as one can and being loyal in all relationships. Nibwa Cohen, Wisdom. It means to acknowledge the opportunity to learn from others. You use wisdom to strive to accomplish goals and dreams. The animal for it is a mick, which means beaver. Wayak Wadizawin represents honesty. An example of honesty is maintain truthfulness, sincerity, and fairness in all one's actions, passes the ability to manage confidential information, communicate with others fairly and truthfully. Sabe means Bigfoot, and Bigfoot represents honesty. Sumire Awan is courage in Ojibwe. Here are some ways that you can use courage in a day. Face difficult situations with bravery. Acknowledge one's personal weakness and develop strength to combat them. Makwa means bear in a job way and makwa represents courage. Enodizawin means humility. Enodizawin is represented by mango, which means a wolf. We can embrace Enodizawin by um, recognizing oneself as a part of creation. The Ojibwe word for love is Zage Edoe. It represents bald eagle, Megizi. Um, the eagle has strength to carry all the, of the teachings. One way to show self-love is to take care of yourself. And a way to show love for others is just to show that you care and appreciate them. Like this. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Why are you saying it like that? Fine. <laughs>